was thinking not so much an editorial as such, but more an Andy Rooney-type observation. You know, I'm not sure George would go for that. Why? Why wouldn't he? Observational humor is huge. Seinfeld, Andy Rooney. Try this. Toilet paper. Have you ever noticed how it's impossible to start a new roll without shredding the first sheet? Why is that? I have no idea. No, see, that's the rhetorical observation. Why is that sets it up? Oh, OK, I'm sorry. Say that, right? Yeah, OK, go ahead. So I figure we use two rolls a week. So that's two lost sheets a week. Okay. At about 300 sheets per roll, after three years, you've lost a whole roll. Now, that doesn't sound like a big deal, but multiply that by a lifetime of 75 years, you wasted 25 rolls per person. Multiply that by 30 million Canadians, and you're talking about 750 million rolls. That's a huge toilet paper ripoff. See? Last line, ripoff? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. That's the Andy Rooney thing, huh? It's, it's Andy Rooney, but it's Seinfeld. These cuts will be painful, but I know that at the end of the day, we can be an even stronger, more competitive broadcaster. Public broadcasting is part of what defines us as Canadians, and we can ensure our future if we make this sacrifice now, together. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, you wonder why he didn't come down in person, huh? Mm. I'm not going to let a bunch of free market ideologues in Ottawa destroy, perhaps, the best public news service in North America. I'm going to fight for every single dollar in our budget, and I'm going to go to the wall for every job on this floor. What does he mean by that? He's going to fuck us. If we let them create fear, they will beat us. But if we stand together and we trust each other, I think we can win this. So what you're saying is that, that, that my job is secure. I'm saying we have no plans to cut executive producers. Well, then, then, I, then I'm basically secure then because um, I'm, I'm an executive producer. We're not cutting executive producers. So then. If you can cut 20% from your show budget, I don't think you have a problem. 20% means jobs. That's the reality here. So what you're saying is that, that, that my job is secure. Yeah, so you know, if any producing spots come up, keep me in mind. This show? The truth. You'd be in the toilet without me. I just thought if anything opens up over there, I'd love a shot, that's all. Well, <laughs> I've actually produced the show. Oh, yeah. George? George is a hack, okay? He's an unethical, untalented, weak, self-serving ass kisser. He's an idiot who's got a talent for kissing butt. Oh, I make him look good. Okay, well, keep me in mind. You know, phoning me this morning was probably the smartest call you'll ever make in your fucking life. This place is going down the tubes. And I want to be in the Jim Walcott business. I can sell Jim Walcott out there in the private sector with one hand in my ass. Jeez, the private sector. Did, did I say private sector? I meant the money sector. I meant the career sector. This is your fucking life we're talking it's about, just, Jimmy. You know, after 14 years in here, out there it seems very scary. Yeah, well, there's nothing out there that can hurt you except maybe falling money. Falling money, that I like. And the fact is that this corporation has given you a real credibility as a thinking anchor. I can leverage that, you know. Yeah, I don't like those shit for brains private network ass. <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, you've got something that those private guys don't have, which is intelligence, class, honesty, you know. Well, don't stop now. I got an erection. <laughs> I'm a big Jim Walcott fan. You know that. Let me, let me try something on you. Yeah. This will be something of a signature editorial. Yeah. Toilet paper. Have you ever noticed how it's impossible to start a new role without shredding the first sheet? Why is that? I don't know. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to. See, that's, 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 a, that's the rhetorical observation. It's an Andy Rooney bit, you know? Oh, fuck. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love Andy Rooney shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I well, love let me finish. I figure we use two rolls a week, so that's two lost sheets a week. You know, I, I, I have a meeting to go to, but um, keep it up. Yeah? Well, I'll, uh, I'll fax to the end of it. Our camera was across the street in a van. That's one of our hookers in the short shorts talking to the guy in the Acura. She's cute. She's bent over with her head stuck in a window. How can you tell she's cute? She moves out of the way. She's done. Camera goes right in, and look who it is. Our own award-winning anchor. Jim Walcott. He knows we're doing a story on hookers. How could he get caught like this? I don't know. Shit for brains? Look, like it or not, we have a story here. George, what do you want to do with this? Okay, we're journalists, right? Mm-hmm. 
And then sometimes you're faced with these tough ethical choices. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Burn the tape. You can't find it. It was on his desk and now it's gone. Oh, this is great. If the budget cuts don't kill us, this will sink us for sure, okay? This is my number one priority. I want this story killed. If this story gets out, we're dead. Listen, these cuts have to be made. That's the reality. Right. Everybody has to share the pain. George, um, BMW on line four. Peter, did Henry bring you up to speed on the wipers? I couldn't see where I was going. It flipped off. Yeah, well, the rain was... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure that, that, that Hitler could see where he was going when he went into Poland. I'm, just, I'm sorry. Okay. I, that, was, I, I, that wasn't bad take. I, I'm sure you were born... Well, listen, I want to know about the warranty. Are the wipers covered by warranty? Well, then talk to your supervisor and call me back. Thank you. God, $40,000 car. Okay, where were we? We were sharing the pain. Who do we cut? You know, this isn't easy for me, and that's why I wanted to talk to you away from the office. But I, I um, wanted... Wait, is, is this about that lesbian thing between me and Sandra I told you about last week? No, no, I, I have no problem with that. What? Well, I did. I, it just didn't work out. Basically, I really, really like sex with men. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But that, that's not a come on or anything. I just... No. I, it's just, even though, I mean, although I find you quite... Um, quite? Attractive. Is this, is this what you, what you wanted to talk about? No, no, actually, I, um, you're doing a very good job. Really? Oh, yes, no, really? you are. When you, you, when you poked your head in this morning and you said BMW on line five, you know, that was... That was oh, that great. was uh, that was line four, I think. Line four. That's great. <laughs> This isn't easy for me. In fact, you know, I take this very personally. Is this about your mother? I mean, My mother? Yeah, if it's about your mother. Um, you know, she's called a couple of times on this number, so I understand that, you know, you're kind of uncomfortable talking to her. So I talk to her now about three or four times a day, and... You talk and, to my mother three or four times a day? Yeah, it's not. It's like she's great to talk to. I mean, I really enjoy talking to her, so... Uh, and she seems to enjoy it. So is that what you want to talk to me about? Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, well, you're doing a very good job. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Hey, how are the cuts coming? Don't worry about it. They're coming, they're coming, they're happening. Mm -hmm. Where's the popcorn? Mm. So, uh, you talked to Bill today? No. He's running a ballet story again. I think we got more than six viewers that actually give a shit. You're looking for a cut. Arts and entertainment. There's your cut. How you doing, Bill? Fine. Is this the ballet stuff? Yeah. The line from Martha Graham to Merce Cunningham is evident. Can, can I help you? Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm just, you know, wondering how you're doing. And, you know, I love the ballet myself, but I was just, you know, curious, you know, as to, you know, you know how much of our audience, you know, relates to the dance. If this is about staff cuts, George, I'm a personal friend of the heritage minister. And if it comes down to me or you, it'll be you. No. Look, I love that ballet. Tonight is the world premiere. You know, I'm mistaking it for something else. Maybe for, you know, Swan Lake with Karen Kane. Is Karen Kane still uh, alive? Karen Kane is alive. What am I thinking? It's Margaret Lawrence who's dead. We should do something on Margaret Lawrence. Maybe a tribute. Okay? Can't do this, you guys. I can't look these people in the face and tell them they're fired. I think the reason is because basically deep down, you know, I feel too much. I, I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so? We'll explain it then. You're just one of those passive-aggressive guys. Oh, passive-aggressive. You know, people use this all the time. This expre I, I have no idea what that means. What, what does that mean? You're weak and vicious. That's basically what it means. Oh, and how do the strong and gentle ones do this? The humane way. Do it fast. Middle of the night, you pack their desk into a cardboard box. Send it down to the front door with a couple of security cops. They tell them they're fired, and if they come back, they'll arrest them for trespassing. These are people with lives and families, okay? Fake 